Hey Jack, you put out a question, and uh, I'm going to try to address it now if I can. You asked, what does atheism have to offer you? What is there to look forward to that would be beneficial to you in your life if, uh, if you were an atheist? Uh, and I want to start out by saying it, it shouldn't matter. It should not matter. Um, the benefits, the perks, the advantages to you in your life really shouldn't factor into uh, picking your worldview or deciding whether or not to be an atheist. And I would say the same of Christianity. I, my hope is that, or I would hope, and this is unfortunately not the case, but in a perfect world, uh, all Christians become Christians or choose to be Christians or are Christians because... Uh, they believe that it's the most accurate representation of the universe and reality and of truth. Not because of the perks, not because of how it makes them feel or how it comforts them or how it offers solace or how it offers some kind of, um, you know, a quick explanation. It, none of that should matter. Uh, I'm an atheist because I, I believe that I have good reasons for supposing that it's the truth and that is it is the most accurate representation of the universe and reality. And if there are perks to that, then then that's fantastic, you know. But uh and I do believe that there are there are um advantages inherent in knowing the truth or in, you know, at least believing something that is consistent with truth as opposed to believing something that is untrue. I believe that there are, you know, inherent uh, good things about that, that that will, you know, be an advantage and a benefit to your life. But to ask what atheism has to offer is, is just the wrong question, and it's the wrong question for any belief, any religion, any philosophy, any worldview. It, that question should not matter. And that's, my, granted, that's my opinion, but I think truth is infinitely more important than comfort or even happiness. Um, and that's why I'm an atheist. Uh, to try and answer the question, I think you need to break it down into two categories. Um, w uh, what are the benefits of being an atheist if Christianity is true and Christianity is an accurate representation of reality? And and then what are the advantages of being an atheist if atheism is true and if atheism is an accurate representation of reality? Um, obviously, Christianity and atheism are not mutually exclusive, and granted, there's a, there's a great possibility that well, I don't believe there's a great possibility, and neither do you, but there's still a possibility that uh, neither Christianity nor atheism are true, but for now, let's just use those two examples. If, if Christianity were true, then there are no benefits to being an atheist. I don't think there are any perks that are worth an eternity in hell, uh, honestly. Um, so, I mean, one might argue that you might be able to, you know, shoplift and hurt people and do all these fun things. Um, to which I don't subscribe anyway, but uh, it's, it's, in the end, it's not beneficial because you have to spend, you know, the rest of time weeping and gnashing your teeth, and it's, it's in no way helpful. Um, the advantages to atheism, to being an atheist, you know, in a secular universe, in a world in which atheism is an accurate representation of, of the world and, and of reality, uh, are, I think, pretty much what you would expect. Um, and, and they're inherently true. Relationships tend to be based on uh, a, a finite idea of the world, you know, and so you cherish, I think, that which you have in front of you much more than you would if you believed that you had an eternity with it. Um, I think I appreciate my friends and my family uh, and my loved ones and all the beauty that the world has to offer much more than I would if I believed there was something better awaiting me. You're more motivated to create happiness and appreciate happiness and beauty and wonder uh, all around you than, than you would be if you believed you were working to get somewhere else. So I, I know one could argue that it's, it, that, you know, that it's obviously not apparent uh, to the world what the truth is given you know, the variety of beliefs and, and cultures and, and religions. Um, and so you might say that it's cheating a little bit to be able to break it down into two categories and go, oh, if atheism is true, if Christianity is true. But I only do so to illustrate that the pursuit of truth has to be first and foremost. Um, all decisions on, on you know, what you believe and what you think is true and what you're choosing to have faith in, those should be decisions based upon what you think is the most accurate representation of the universe, what you think is true, independently of our mind, independently of our consciousness, what is real. Uh, and not what the benefits are. Because if you look for the benefits in a particular belief or religion and then seek to justify those with reason and logic and evidence, you're doing it wrong and you're not going to get ultimately to the truth. Um, and I think that's that's my whole point. So that's my answer. Uh, and I hope I've done sufficiently. And uh, I'll see you later.